I'm Aishwarya Vikas and welcome to Wilel Capital. Today's topic is about the types of the mutual fund. A mutual fund is a pool of money managed by a professional investment manager to achieve the common investment objectives of investors. Before advisable to access and analyze your individual investment goals so that you can invest in an appropriate scheme. There are thousands of schemes, a market claiming good returns and also narrowing down to the few that would suit your financial goals. It can be an uphill task. While mutual funds can be seen different ways, here is a lockdown on the different types of the mutual funds available. Every mutual fund scheme has an investment objective which defines the asset class in which it would invest the funds and the structure it would form a specialization element at times and the risk the scheme is willing to take to meet its objectives. For example, there might be a scheme with an investment objective of providing the capital appreciation over a long term. Usually, such schemes would be open-minded to allow the people to earn good returns while offering the flexibility of exiting whenever they want. The types of mutual fund based on the investment objective. The first one is the growth funds. There are for investors who are looking for the capital appreciation and don't mind taking the risk. These funds are recommended as an option. These funds predominantly invest in equities. And the next one is the income funds. These are designed for the investors looking for regular income from their investment and are unwilling to take the risk. Such schemes in debentures, bonds and other fixed income options. And the third one is the liquid funds. These are meant for the investors with the short term investment windows and also the low risk appetite. Such schemes typically invest in treasure commercial papers etc. The next one is the Tax Savings Funds ELSS. These schemes have been approved by the Government of India for deduction under the Income Tax Go Act. Such scheme equities have high risk and offer the promising returns. And the next one is the Capital Protection Funds. As the name suggests, these funds are designed to ensure the maximum protection of the invested capital. Such schemes, their corpus between equity and debit in a calculated manner to ensure the protection of capital. And the next one is the fixed maturity funds. Similar to fixed deposits, these are close-ended funds and offer an indicated yield. Such field invest in money market instruments. The funds are invested ensuring that the maturity date of the investment coincides with the maturity date of the fund. And the next one is the pension funds. These are meant for the investors with an investment objective of regular income post-retirement. Such funds invest in equities and study the returns without risk the capital too much. Apart from these, you can have open-minded, close-ended and interval funds based on when an investor can purchase and or redeem units in the scheme and are also classified according to the risk element attached to them. There are five risk classes. That is the first one is a low risk, second one moderately low risk, third one moderate risk and the fourth one is the moderately high risk. So I hope all of you understood today's topic and I will be coming with another topic on tomorrow. And if you people are having any doubt, you can comment in our comment box and our experts will be replying you within a minute itself. So everybody, please share our video maximum. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel also. And please stay safe, stay home and stay healthy. Thank you.